Yeah, very pleased with his run the other day at uh, Aintree. Um, he showed, he jumped as well as I've ever seen him jump for a long time. On ground, which is definitely not his cup of tea. And I'm, I was very pleased to see him run at least in the second last to be with him. Because he hadn't been away for any race course gallops this year, which he had last year. And he didn't get beat as far first time out this year as what he did last year. So I think a lot of positives take out the race. And he'll Tingle Creek. And then, and then he goes straight now for the Tingle Creek, along with hopefully Ahmad, if they stay in one piece. Uh, lost him. He was on his way back to recovery after he injured himself. He's uh, a horse I think has got huge potential. He's the most gorgeous looking horse. But we won't be seeing him out till February. Hopefully early March, we'll be well. And this is our man we've got here, who's probably one of the nicest looking horses in the yard, with huge potential I feel. Running four solid races last year until he met with it. A fracture at Plumpton. The touch wood, everything seems good now. He's back to his strong canters and all being well. We see him at sand down in the Tingle Creek along the side of Groovy. Here we have Caveman, who's potentially one of the nicest horses in the yard. Being very, very well related, and he's an absolute beautiful specimen of a racehorse as well. So he'd definitely be one to watch out for. Hopefully, he'll be on a race course in the middle of November to the end. He's a huge backward horse, but he, he shows a lot of potential at home. And that's what he's brothers. He's obviously. Four brothers of Bally Andy, and also to a good horse that I trained called Megastar, who was very, very good but never probably reached his full potential.